Hey everybody, I here is here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper Series 1, episode number 13. Alright, so, Patrick, 3751, I don't know about the band and lookout, but I started to develop cabin fever by staying in the Mountaineer's Hut on Timberwolf Mountain for too long, even though it doesn't transition into inside or outside. Alright, so that pretty much answers the question there, because uh, the band and lookout is going to be the same way. Uh, they're basically um, They're basically the same type of... Uh, shelter, mechanically speaking. Um, and then that's sort of backed up by Lando G Gardner, uh, 83. Lookouts, mines, explorable caves, and mountaineers count as inside for cabin fever. Small caves uh, count as outside for cabin fever, but inside for drying guts and such. Fishing huts are outside. While the affliction cabin fever is over, you still are at risk for getting it again, so you should spend more time outside. For me, extended fishing trips were always a good way to deal with cabin fever or the risk of of it um or for it it counts as outside and having and it has a nice stove if you need more firewood you can always trash the stacks of pallets at the fishing village light a fire between two stacks and you can break them down while staying warm and small stuff like lines and hooks can e easily be crafted outside as it only takes 15 minutes um and then tony schaefer says thought something happened to you dude was wondering when the next one would come out awesome videos man yeah i just been uh, a little busy with uh, it's basically called having four officers for four shifts, um, we're picking up uh, a lot of overtime, unfortunately, because we have one officer that just up and quit out of nowhere, and the other officer who's waiting for OSP to finish their investigation. And then, uh, you know, we should be, at least we'll get one officer back, uh, knock on wood. So, hopefully things get sort of balanced out. I know, it's always something, like, as soon as as soon as things get, the, the, everything settles down, something happens that rocks the boat. So, I, I do apologize for that. Um, Laura L, the toque you left behind upstairs in the bathroom drawer, if you repair it, it's going to be better than your wool hat that you currently have on. And like, she got like five thumbs up for that, including one for me. So, uh, yeah, definitely. She's right about that. I, I can't believe that I uh, overlooked that, but, uh, it's, I, instead of repairing the wool hat, I should have grabbed that toque and repair that. We'll go ahead and do that now. And, uh, while we're sitting here licking our wounds and trying to get back up to hundred percent health, um, command line. Always cook the cookable food. You get a ten. You get ten percent more calories when you cook because of your skill level. So I had no idea about that. So I guess like pork and beans and peaches and stuff. If I have a fire going, I might as well cook it. Now I'm not going to start a fire and waste a match just to get ten percent more calories out of it. To me, that's sort of a waste. But um, Ben Merchada says that applies to canned food too. Command line. Yep. Command line. Tea, coffee, rose hips, and mushroom as well. It tops out at fifty. Uh, plus 50% calories at max level eventually. That's really good. Ben Merchata. So the first law... So so much for the first law of thermodynamics. Command line. Your Newtonian physics have no place here. Alright, so that's a good way to start. Let's get back into this here. Uh, someone else mentioned in the comments, hey man, don't forget about your saplings up here. So, here they are. And then also in here... Oh, there's a book. Let me grab that book. I think I left that behind on purpose, but we can always use that to uh, start a fire or something like that. Uh, there's the toque I should have repaired a while back, and uh, I think we got water in there too. So let's do a little uh, status check here, show you everything we got going on, just so you guys can see. We'll organize it by weight, I guess, so you guys can kind of get an idea where we're at. And that's pretty much it there for everything we're carrying around. We do have a lot of stuff here in the cabinet as well. So I'll be taking that fish hook with me. Uh, a lot of this stuff I'm going to be hauling over to uh, over to Jackrabbit Island as soon as I get to feeling better. Arrowheads, etc., etc. All these wood matches and stuff. So let's see if we can actually get ourselves 12 hours of daylight left. Starving, parched. Conditions 44%. We'll take a look at our journal. Um, let's see here. Fire starting is getting up there a little bit. Cooking has uh, gone up a little, so that's good. I don't know exactly when you max out. Is it like uh, level 5 or something? I, I'm not sure. Um, mending archery. Collectibles. No collectibles. And there we go. 17 days, 0 hours, 26 minutes. So. Alright, and I guess when I look at my afflictions, 60%. So I actually do need to get outside because I have a risk of more cabin fever, which we really don't want. So what I think we'll do is we'll try to get ourselves... I really don't want to travel right now. Oh, God, I don't have a bedroll either. Um, 
I guess what we'll do is we'll keep sleeping in the car. Um, how are we doing on food? Let's check that situation out. Looks like we're doing all right. Not the best. But we're doing okay-ish. <laughs> um, also, someone else said, hey, if you cook up these uh, pork and beans, uh, they've never had uh, enough gotten sick if you actually heated them up. So even though the condition's lower. So that's probably worth a shot. Ooh, just went down to 43%. Let's get a drink. All right, so I think what I'll do here is I my, my main priority is to get my condition up, right? So let's double check if we got food in here. I've got a nasty granola bar, which I'm not going to risk. I'm not even going to risk that because that is like, I just got a feeling I'd get food poisoned off of that and then be really hard to recover. Um, how are we doing on? We're getting warmed up here. Uh, let's head back out to the car. Hopefully it's not too bad out there. I think I have anything in here, right? These are empty, okay. Sometimes I store food in there. Let's see what the temperature's like out here. I'd like to, I know it's midday, but, and I really don't want to sleep during the day. And I'm kind of rested, but I do need to get some rest, so. It's four degrees, let's get in here. And it's 18 degrees in here, which isn't the best. So let's see if we can get a little food in our stomach here and rest for an hour or two, maybe. Probably just an hour. Man, I really don't want to do this. Oh gosh, I, I can't. Oh boy, oh boy. If I had a bedroll, things would be so much easier because I could go fishing and just lay out there and sleep in the fishing hut with the door and get plenty of food and all that stuff. I'm gonna eat. Get some calories on board. As much as I don't like to, kind of have to. All right. Yeah, see, the cold's already hit me. It's it's too cold out here. That's the problem. 60%. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I think I have to sleep indoors just to get my condition up. I'd like to get it up around 70% before I start traveling too much. So, gosh, guys, I really don't want to get cabin fever again, but we might have to just sleep indoors and, and roll the dice. Yeah, let's see. 300, 600... Just gotta eat eat this. It's, well, it's a little early though. That's the thing too. But I want to end up just spinning my wheels because I'm not really that tired. Maybe I should just do some exploring. I think maybe that's. Oh gosh, if I get attacked though, I'm dead. I do have a flare, don't I? I got one flare. Okay, maybe I can fight off a wolf with or keep a wolf back with a flare. I can get rid of this. Put them away. Put them away. Holster. All right, I'm gonna go up and try the um, abandoned lookout. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a uh, bedroll. Gosh, I know. Such a risk. I'm at the point, though, where I really do need a bedroll. So let's get going here. I don't remember how to get up there now. You know, I can go this way. This is probably the safest way to go. Because there is a house up here, too. I need anything right about now. Don't worry, I didn't forget about my... Uh... I should have grabbed the toque. Oh, did I? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Don't worry, I didn't forget my, about my saplings or anything like that. I'm just going up here to collect some stuff. And I think I'm traveling. Yeah, I'm pretty decent. I got about seven, a little less than seven pounds or so, the wiggle room. There's the wolf down there. There's another car. I'm just going to take the high road here. And it, it is getting cold. It's 10 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to get over here to this house. It sits over here warm up before we move on to the next leg of the journey. I'm not too worried about wearing myself out because I do want to get some good rest. Alright, I think it's safe to get back down here onto the road. If I can do it without breaking an ankle. Alright, good. Now there should be a house right up here to the to the right. Sort of tucked in here behind this hill. Ah! It's a deer. Oh no! You've destroyed my house! Interland, you sneaky, sneaky little cheeky monkeys, you. Ah, that's not good. All right, <laughs> let's uh, let's let's make heat by exercising. That's about the only chance we got here. All right, my fingers feel numb. Let's just keep running here. 
Yeah, I do need to get as high as possible. Can I get up there? Come on, let me up there. Please, 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 please. Thank you. Too cold to think. Oh, hey, some sort of a branch here. Oh, some more beard. Or old man's beard. What is this? It's a birch. It's a birch. We have plenty of arrows when we finally turn that corner. Hey, dear. Silent clearing. It's not very silent. Well, 10 hours of daylight left. We're freezing. Ravenous. A bit winded. At least we're not thirsty. Hey, they didn't burn down the metal trailer, at least. Good. I forgot about the trailer. Honestly, I forgot about the trailer. I'm going to go up here and the lookout's going to be burned to the ground. <laughs> There's... Hey, it's sort of my, my idea for Scorched Earth, where there is no buildings, everything's burned. Good luck, try to survive. That's the mode I kept proposing, I was like, Raph, you gotta do that, man. Scorched Earth, just burn everything, set everything on fire. It'd be kind of funny if it was actually still smoldering and you could stand by it, get warm. That sort of thing, but no, I mean, you can just have everything just completely burnt to a crisp. Oh, I guess there's peaches underneath the uh, bed. I so forgot hungry. to. I forgot to grab. Someone mentioned it in the comments. And I completely forgot. Uh, okay. Oh well. All right. Well, now back down to zero calories. So that was a waste. All right. Um, how are we doing? I'm tired. I do need to warm up a little bit. So I think we'll just sit here and warm up. Maybe. Ugh. Don't really want to. Oh boy. Yeah, probably do need to. Alright, let's eat something here just to get some calories. Am I thirsty? I'm not thirsty at all. Alright, let's eat another cattail stock. Well, I have to head over to Mystery Lake. Apparently there's a nice stash of cattails there too. We're kind of up around that area. Might not be a bad idea just to go up there. Eventually, I mean, I, I do need my... I think I got it left to cap both my hacksaws down there, but... Uh, all right, let's go ahead and sleep for. Well, how, if I sleep, let's see here. Let's get another. Get cattails there. Okay, what if I go two hours? Three hours. Let's try three. Yeah, let's give that a shot. I think if I keep exploring here for the remainder of the day, should be back up to 44 where we started. And we're nice and warm now, so that's good. Really need a bedroll. Right really, really need a bedroll. I really don't need a freaking blizzard. I'm trying to remember what level I'm on here. I think. Oh, shit. Uh uh. Be gone, bear. Okay, we gotta go this way. We gotta move quick too. Let's get around this bear. They just decided to come out because it was a nice freaking blizzard type of a day. I wonder when I get to the lookout how much better my cabin fever is gonna feel though. Where can I find something to eat? Worry about that. Worry about getting out of the storm. get freaking disoriented here. Oh, it's guaranteed. I think I need to get up a level. Because the lookout's always at the highest level of the switchbacks. Oh, there it is. It's right up there. Okay, wow. I'm down 
Oh, nice. Nice little cabin. Cool. Not, not really that super cold. It looks worse than it is. Alright, so we need to get our way. Have a little butt up there somehow. I think I'll dance my way that way and then cut up and around. I think I can do that. Unfortunately, there is a wolf that does like to frequent that area. Take the wood up there. We might need it for the uh, for the stove when we get there. Typically, there's some wood waiting for us in the... Oh, nice dog food. All right. Uh, what else we got? This stuff will come in here. metal. Sure, we'll take it. We'll take it. That's fine. Anything else? Not seeing anything else, really. Nothing on top of the bed. We do have to search that body behind these two buildings. Sort of up on the hill a little bit. There's a there's an outdoor Carl here for us. Partially eaten Carl, it looks like too. All right, nothing going on there. Crow feather. All right, what about in this one? Let's see here. Gonna have something wonderful for me. Oh. Whoever stayed here last was a little more greedy. Or they just weren't an animal lover, I guess. I don't know. Okay, nothing. Nothing up top. Not missing anything. Alright. Alright, let's uh let me check the uh twenty six degrees. Oh, that's not too bad. So oh, another crazy rabbit around. That was freaky. That freaked me out a little bit. Oh wait, there's a rope here. Oh, we can just go with that. That'd be easy. So we can make it. I should be able to make it. Yeah, I think I can make it. All right. As I as I run up to it. Yeah, we should be all right. I think what we're about halfway now. So yeah, I think we should be fine. I guess you could just go up and down a rope over and over and over again, make yourself tired if you really needed to. Please don't be a wolf right here. Please don't let there be a wolf right here. There it is. Oh, is there another rope here? Wow, that pretty much knackered me right there. Okay, there's some sort of a branch here. There, there's a dead guy here in the cave. How we doing? Eh, getting a little tired. So we're gonna be walking up. Hey, maple sapling, nice. Make another bow if we need to. Why is the music getting creepy? It makes me worried. It's like the musicians know something that I don't. <laughs> like, oh no. 27 degrees, really not bad. Let's just keep moving, slowly but surely. Grab a little something to drink, so if I do get jumped by a wolf, at least I won't die with uh, a dry mouth. That would be the worst. Like, no, just let me have a drink before you rip my throat out. See, I'm juicier. All right. Just let me baste myself a little bit. All right. What? Oh, that was a freaking waste of time. Oh my god. Why did I even do that? That was dumb. Oh, I hate you. All right, well, I don't think I need to go down. I don't know. Might not be that bad. We'll just go down the rope. What is it, six hours of daylight left? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we just rest. And there's a blizzard coming in. You see that? It's like like, like went to uh went to question marks right then and there. So let's just shimmy down the rope here. And then what we'll do is uh we'll just rest down here for a good long while, recover as much as we can, and then we'll head up to the lookout. I think that's probably the smart play. All right, very nice. Oh, gorgeous. That looks... That, that psychotic blizzard is just beautiful. All right, let's go in here. We got 44 degrees in here. Drained. Yeah, that's good. So we're nice and drained. That means we can rest for a good long while. 9% on that dog food. Uh, kind of want to cook it up. It's freaking deadly. <laughs> it's deadly. 500 calories. All right, we're going to save that. Um, 
right now we'll just have that and probably a couple of a couple of the cattail stocks maybe or no but probably summit soda actually so 600 plus soda. that'd be really close to 750. let's go ahead and do it Oh, I need to check on the cabin fever thing, right? I do need to remember to do that, so let's go ahead and drink. A bit of a waste on the hydration, but let's see here. 48%. Alright, I don't like that still. Still not very good. Alright. So we got our calories on there. Double check. Yeah, 841 calories, that's good. I think we're going to just try to rest for 10. Wish I had some tea. I don't think I do. Alright, well, 9 degree warmth bonus. It'll be 53 degrees in here. Eh, not too bad. Much better than it is outside, so. We're at 43% health, I think. Yeah. So, 10 hours should get us feeling much, much, much better, so. 74%. That's what I like to see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get a drink, of course. Wow. Not much. Not much water there, but we'll cook up some more when we get up to the lookout. So no problem. And yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Zero ca 72 calories. Let's go outside and see what it's like outside. If it's decent, we might go for it. Try to go up and around. Try to get up to that lookout. Get a horse. Oh, it's pretty out. Six degrees. It's a little chilly, but it sure is pretty. So I'm just going to get my uh, flare ready to go, just in case. Actually going up and down that rope really did uh, wear me out sort of perfectly so I could recover quite a bit. A protected area. So whopping five degrees. And yeah, we'll work our way up here if we can. I know that there's a way to. I think I, I think I'm gonna come out at the cave. Actually, there's a cave, and then there's that patrol wolf that's always out there in front of the abandoned lookout. That's the thing I'm worried about the most is that patrol wolf. Cause I have a feeling it's a nice night. He's gonna be out and about. Okay, I think I shimmy up here. This is where I will go up. I think my stomach is eating itself. I think this will get me up there. I think I can make it up here. Come on, let me up here. Let me up here. Please, 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 please. No, not gonna let me. Alright, maybe I have to go around here. Like running now. Running downhill, that's always gonna. Running downhill on a mountain. It's gotta end well. I think there's another. I think there's another trailer down here too, somewhere. Come on, let me up here. Let me up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, now if I go this way, there should be a trailer down. Yeah, there is. What are we doing? Cold? Let's go down here and rest for an hour. We'll head back up. You know what? No. Let's just go ahead and go. Let's shove on. Can't feel my hands. We're a little numb, but that's okay. Is it? Oh, there's a there's a cave here. I might check that for a bedroll first. Oh no no, don't do that. There we go. Yeah, let's, let's go into this cave, warm our bones up a little bit. Where are you at, Patrol Wolf? Hey. All right, let's get inside. So cold. Warming up again.
birch? Oh, I thought that was birch bark. Apparently not. Alright, so we're in the cave, but we do have a storm lantern. So let's take a peek around here. Let's do a little exploring. Here, maybe we'll get lucky. Make sure I didn't pass the bedroll sit. Oh yeah, this is all my coal. Never mind. I've already been in here, haven't I? That's right. Wait, did I? No. But that's weird. Apparently I haven't, but why is all that coal stacked like that? that maybe it looked like something out where I just dropped a bunch of coal. I'll pick up a lot of that before we head over to the uh, lookout. That way we have uh, plenty of coal if we need to uh, stay warm. Head this way real quick, see if there's anything down this way. I think there's a yeah, okay. No bedrolls. This should go in a big circle here. Yeah, okay. No, it's, I have been here. Okay, it's empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been how did how did I miss those other two? Alright, well whatever. Well, let's pick up some more coal as we go. Leave it at the door. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Okay. I think it's time to bust on out of here. Alright. Well, let's leave here. And head over to the lookout. Get our flare back out. Nope, that's not the flare. That's the flare. Take that, wolf, as you strike a match. Just making my head feel thick. Alright. I hate this part. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I'm pretty well rested. Should have plenty of. Yeah, I got plenty of energy. Ready to go. I just need to make it through this area here without getting nibbled on. Normally I just shoot the wolf and be done, be done with it, but I don't have a rifle because this is hardcore. So we have to use all of our intelligence and guile and stealth. Try to make it through here unscathed if possible. Never felt so cold in my life. Okay, I think we're gonna be somewhat okay. This is my little northwest passage to the. Uh... Lookout, typically. All right. So far, it looks pretty good. Not seeing any activity. Must must have taken a. Must be like a. Wolf work day or something like that, where they just took the, sort of took the day off. Or like a teacher work day. But I can't get up there. That's right. I gotta go this way. I think. Maybe. No. All right. He might just be sitting at the bottom of the stairs waiting for me, right? Here we go. There's a deer out there walking around like he owns the place. That's just meant to mislead me, make me feel... Make me feel, uh... A little too comfortable. And there's a rope I could have dropped there for that <laughs> where I got ledged up there. So I'm dead end. Oh nice, good timing there. Good timing on getting inside here with a bunch of coal and a match or two. Let's go ahead and holster this. 
Alright, please let me find a freaking bedroll already. Oh, you gonna have a bedroll for me anywhere? No. No, you're not. Oh, I could use this. Yeah, great. Freaking, that's the last thing I need is that Gordon Ramsay book. Alright. Oh, some matches though. Hey, alright. That was nice. That was worth it right there. Yeah, so it's 46 degrees in here. And that is a zero degrees warmth bonus bed. Wow. That bed sucks. <laughs> what we got under here? Anything hidden under here? Sometimes there's stuff hidden under here. Uh, not seeing anything. Let's go ahead and get a fire going. We're going to need some water anyway. And uh, we can cook up those beans and get a good night's rest. Well, not that tired. That's the problem. All right, well, let's go ahead and cook up, uh, cook up some of those beans, get the water going. Maybe cook up the dog food, maybe? Try that? I don't know. We'll see. Well, that was quick. I did a uh, copyright content claim on uh, some channel that had basically just copied a bunch of my videos and was just posting them all. Nothing but my videos. In their, in their entirety, that was it. Someone brought it to my attention in the uh, comments in, in Turned out pretty 12. Well. And I went and did a content claim, and I can only do 10 at a time. I can only make 10 claims at a time. I wonder if I can add this yet. Minutes before Coke will be added, 22. All right. So, I just looked at my phone, and I got a notice from YouTube that the content's been removed. So I wonder if that means they got the whole channel, or if I got to go back in and do another ten videos and then make a claim. I don't know. I don't know. So, all right. Well, let's uh, try to save some of this. And I'll probably end up reading most of the night. Maybe repair that toque. Let's melt a little snow here. Well, that's not gonna. Yeah. What should I do? Can I add this yet? 13 more minutes. Alright, well. Let's add another stick just for the heck of it. Getting kind of thirsty. Ah, I hear you. I don't have any water, actually. None. I'm gonna try to cook up, go, cook that up, see if that works. Um, try it with the pork and beans first. I know I can heat up pork and beans. So if it makes it safe, then that's cool. Uh, otherwise, I got trolled and I'm gonna get food poisoned because of it. I think where else I could go. I, you know, I'm thinking almost, man, I just gotta go for Mystery Lake. Uh, do I have all the tools I need for that? When I come back, my saplings will be good to go. I can leave these saplings at the, at the, uh, drop these at the door, actually. So I don't forget to put them down, and I don't forget to pick them back up again. Um, there we go. One percent cured already. Wait a minute. If I drop them and pick them up, they... I'm, I don't Someone's want to do it go. this way. But it will be 2% cured if I drop them again? No, still just 1%. I thought maybe the act of dropping them caused them to cure. Alright, let's see if we can add that coal yet. There we go. Alright. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, we're not going to die of hypothermia right now, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get our drink. Let's do about point eight. Let's just boil up point two so I can get a drink here real quick. Because I am dehydrated now. I don't want to take too much of a condition hit based upon being having a double whammy go on here. There we go. Let's get that drink. Better. Better. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and cook up the rest of that water. Where are you at, water? Oh, there it is. I need to drop something. I'm like, what am I carrying around? 71? That's not really that bad, really. So try to cook up some of these beans. 
that, that's a 34%. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Let's open them up. We're cooking them. On a 124 degree stove. At least that's what it feels like out here. And let's see what it looks like here. Still 30. Uh, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Ugh. Taking a risk here. I'm relying on your guys' comments. I did say that at the start. Hopefully I don't get food poison. Alright, let's try. We'll try it next time with the dog food. I don't need the dog. I don't need 500 calories right now, so we're going to wait on that. Um, what we will do is we will go ahead and uh, get some rest here. Maybe read a little bit. Let's see what book I can read for a minute. 12 degrees. 12 minutes. 11 minutes. Do I need to cook up any? Oh, you know what? Did I even check this? Yeah, I did. Alright. How are these doing? 3%, 2%, nice. I'm thinking, uh, oh, I could probably make up some tea here. Let me do that. Let me do that. Let me throw on another, one more coal here. And let's do some rose hip. Turn that into some rose hip tea. Might as well. So we got 100, 200, 300, 400. 500 calories just in drinks. Plus, we get a little hydration from that, too, so it's always good, too. And, uh, how are we doing on the weight? 69 pounds. Not too bad, not too bad. Uh, field dressing, research. How much more do I have? I need one more hour? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's read here for an hour. I really do want to rest, but I'm not tired enough to really get a full rest. That's, that's my problem. That's why I'm not just going to bed right now. Add another coal. Because we're going to go through a cave to get to Mystery Lake. And I did want to see if I had... I don't have my hacksaw with me, that's a problem. I could repair this. Technically it'll be better than this. Do I have my sewing kit with me? Yeah, I do. Do I have enough cloth? I do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's repair that. Should take like half hour, right? Yeah. Oh, I failed. Let's try it again. Oh, are you kidding me? What are we doing on our fire here? Now we're nine minutes. Ooh, it's pretty in here. It's getting all red, glowy. Oh, maybe my cabin here, or my lookout caught on fire. All right, let's try again. Third time's a charm, right, guys? Right. All right. Hey, all right, there we go. It's 100%, so that's going to be, yeah, significantly better. Almost two degrees. Nice. All right, well, we can, we can drop this. We don't need it anymore. How's everything else doing? Everything else looking pretty good, except for that. I already have a one here, so I can both thin, right? Yeah, okay. I need a heavy wool sweater is what I need. Drop that. And I could use some, uh, what are they, cargo pants or whatever? Nice. Okay. Some deer skin pants would be cool as well. Well, I mean, warm. But nice. Alright, um... Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom tea. Oh, I can turn a mushroom into tea. Let's see if I can do that real quick. Oh, I got another one I can do. Let's keep doing it. Might actually need to cook up more water because I'm using up my actual potable water each time I do this. Oh yeah, I can make a lot of it actually. Okay. Let's add another coal. Let's go back and try to make some more mushroom tea. I did collect a lot of mushrooms, I guess, since I last brewed up a lot of tea. There we go. Nope, more? You're kidding me. Wow, we are going to need to cook up more water. I'm going to use up all my water making this tea. But that's good. So, I mean, it's calories, right? And it's calories that I don't think go bad. I don't think any of these really ever go bad. It's kind of nice. It's like uh, almost like cabin cattails. Jeez. Nature's best medicine. Another one? How many 
many of these mushrooms do I have? I gotta know. All I could think of. Six. Food. I think it's two per, so I think I can get three more out of there. Oh, let's add another one here. How are we doing on water? We gotta be almost out of water now. Getting low, getting low. Let's brew up a couple more and then we'll brew up more water. And yeah, we're gonna have to use another coal, so. No point in running around with a bag full of mushrooms when I could have tea. Don't ask me how I'm running around with these teacups. I got like a hundred teacups and I'm not spilling any of it. Must be like Tupperware. They have like a little top that you put on or something. It's the only thing I can think of. They don't really look like that though. That'll probably be it for the water. Might run out of water. <laughs> Gotta be very low on water, right? Okay, I think I used up all my mushrooms finally. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, we need more water. Alright, let's add another. Uh, coal. That should be good. I think that'll do it. Hey, it's daytime. Well, we basically just went through the whole night. We're going to be pretty knackered come uh, this evening. Um... Point eight. What's your, what are we at? Point eight. Eight pounds. We'll be right on the border of being overweight. We'll give it a shot, though. It's okay. Die if I don't get some food soon. Very good. All right, so 61%. Not really that tired. I think we can make it over to. Uh, I think we can make it over to the uh, mystery lake. All right. Well, I think I'll end this episode here. Uh, let me just go to. Yeah, you know, heck. I'm trying to think. I probably need to rest for an hour just to save it. No real easy way to save. Uh, Double check, make sure I got my potable water. I do have that. Uh, got all my I better tea. find some water. There you go. Stop your complaining. <sighs> all right, so let me let me know what you guys think. Do I need to actually go back down and grab some more supplies from the from the house that I was in during the cabin fever? Or let me also check my cabin fever status. Forty four percent. All right. Not too bad. It's going down. And there's the status stuff. Um, or should I just head on over to Mystery Lake? I'm thinking I'm just going to head over to Mystery Lake. Because I need to find a bedroll. I really do. Otherwise, cabin fever, fever is going to become a real big problem. We survived 18 days, 2 hours, 19 minutes. Almost double what I originally was going to be happy with. So, if I walk out of here and I get hit by lightning and, and I die... Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be pretty happy with the series, nonetheless. But it uh, doesn't mean I'm just going to give up So and, and start acting silly. But, uh, you, man, it used up a lot of calories. 30,000 calories. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's go through these stats here. Yeah, so, so let me know what you think I should do next. I'm kind of leaning towards going to Mystery Lake. And uh, taking this wood right here, leaving it at the cave entrance, picking it up on the way back. Mystery Lake, I don't know, maybe I should take the wood with me and try to craft something in Mystery Lake. It's hard to say. I don't know, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.